fractions. We need to know the difference between the numerator and the denominator of a fraction. We need to be able to represent fractions on a number line. And we need to be able to represent a fraction of a shape by dividing it into regions and shading some of the regions. Okay, we can do this. So we have two, uh, two things. The numerator is up the top. Let's see how they sort of uh, uh, and the d d d d denominator is down below. So the numerator is on top. And so th that number is going to tell you how many bits out of the total, which is the denominator. T denominator tells you how many parts the whole thing is divided up into. So there's five parts, and the numerator tells us that in this case, three of those five parts uh, have been selected. The horizontal line separating these two is called the vinculum. Isn't that cool? That little guy there, um, a proper fraction or common fraction is when you've got a smaller number on the top here, like 2 over 7, uh, than you do on the bottom. So you'd have less than one whole. It's going to equal less than one whole. So another example is I have 1 out of a total of 2, so the top number is smaller. I could even have 6 out of a total of 7. So that's a proper fraction. An improper fraction is a little bit lopsided. It's greater than the whole. Therefore, the numerator has to be larger than the denominator. Some mathematicians, whoever they are, consider a whole, like 3 over 3, to be improper fractions. Most of the time we talk about it, we'll talk about something like this, where you've got 5 thirds, where 3 thirds is the whole thing. If I were to divide, uh, I'll do my first shape here for you. That's pretty much thirds. And if I fill in one of those, two of those, all three thirds, then I filled in the whole thing. In this case, five thirds, I've got one, two, three, plus another one, two, that makes five. So you can see that's more than one whole. So other examples of improper fractions, let me see, if I put a seven up there, I just need to put something smaller underneath. I've got more than five fifths. I've got 13 twelfths. If I divided it into a total number of 12 and I have more than 12, it's improper. We can represent fractions on a number line. So in this case here, if we're looking at 0, and see how our number line, you might have gone 1, 2, 3. Well, you can divide a number line further than that. So here's one hole, here's two holes, and if we look, we can divide them into halves. So this is 0 halves, this is 1 half, and this is 2 halves, which I set up above, 2 halves is equal to 1 whole. We can also divide it, as they have here, into quarters, into smaller amounts. So I have 0 quarters, which is just 0. I'm just writing that to be silly. And then I have, along the way on this number line, I have my first 1 quarter, 2 quarters. And you can see that 2 quarters and 1 half actually occupy the same space on this number line, which is really interesting. 3 quarters, haven't quite made it to 1 whole yet, but when I get to 4 quarters, that's 1 whole. And then you can see now that whole numbers, this is what we're going to talk about next, is on the number line, 4 over 4 is in the same place as 1, because that has 4 fourths. If I had divided my circle into quarters, all four of them would be selected. And then the number 2 is more than one whole. It's actually uh, 8 fourths. So if I took 4 fourths and added 4 fourths together, that gives us 2 wholes, or 8 fourths. So that's how that, it's the same number, that's a whole number can be represented on a number line in that way. Uh, we can represent fractions using area if a shape is divided into equal regions. So in this example, we've got a shape, a ruler would be better, equally laid out. So I've got one, two, three, four possibilities. That's why my D down denominator is four. And as you can see in the shape, only three of those are selected. Therefore, my numerator is three. So three of the possible four in this scenario. So let's do an example. How many pieces has the whole pizza been divided into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight pieces. So I'm going to know that right now that's going to be my denom. That's the total number of possibilities because that's what I've divided that one whole pizza into. How many pieces have been selected? In this case, shaded. One, two, three. Three out of the eight have been selected. So the denominator is equal to eight because that's the total number. The numerator is equal to three because that's what we've selected out of those eight. Three of the eight. Write an amount of pizza shaded as a fraction. Bingo, that's what we've done. Okay, now we've got fifths. So before we were looking at fourths, if we looked at the previous example, we we're looking at uh, halves and fourths. So let's uh, let's choose a zero. I guess you can be zero, buddy. 
and we're going to put three fifths and nine fifths. Well, since we're dividing things into fifths, I'm going to think that this will be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and I'm going to put one there. Why? Because we know that five out of the total of five is five fifths. So on our number line, this is three fifths because this was zero fifths. One, two, three. See how we've divided this up? Uh, and two, let's see, we've got five fifths, six, seven, eight, nine fifths would be here. And the next number here would be two because that's ten fifths. And ten is two sets of five. So that's two holes. Represent the fraction three quarters in three different ways using a divided square into four equal regions. Okay, so I could do, I could divide this guy up like that, and then I can shade this one to three, or I could shade this one to three, or I could shade, uh, I think you get the idea. I need three out of the four. Uh, there's probably another way I could divide this square into equal fourths. I can put some diagonals in there. And now if I used a ruler, I would have the same kind of idea. One, two, any three of the four. And I could also probably divide that in half and then each half and half again. Again, if I had a ruler, it would be more accurate. And I, should, I can shade in any three of those four and they re represent three out of four.